all right so i have my flour in a bowl and i'm going to add one pack of instant yeast to that as well as some sugar some white granulated sugar and i'm also going to add some baking powder and i'm using salted butter today so i'm not going to add salt but of course if you're using unsalted butter you're going to put some salt in there as always i'm going to list the ingredients in the description bar as well as tips and tricks that would be helpful to you guys in this recipe so be sure to check it out so i'm just using my hands and combining the ingredients together and i'm going to take some buttermilk and i'm going to add it to the mixture now if you do not have buttermilk you can use regular milk and um for every cup of milk you use one teaspoon of lemon juice okay so if you don't have buttermilk you can make it yourself at home right so now i'm transferring the dough to my surface now you just feel your dough until it's sticky enough but not too sticky you don't want it to be overly sticky and too soft right so i'm going to transfer it to my board well my table as you see and i'm going to just give it a little knead and combine everything together and form it into a nice little ball that we're going to roll out in a bit so i'm going to roll my dough out now and i'm using my fingertips to kind of spread the dough a little and then i'm going to switch over to my rolling pin and i'm going to finish rolling it out because if i use my finger to spread it out that would have taken me forever so i'm rolling it out using my rolling pin So I rolled it out to about half an inch thick, not too thin, because we're not making pizza, we're making cinnamon rolls. So you do not want the dough to be, you know how they make pizza and they be flipping the dough and the dough be like super thin and all that. No, you don't need it to be super thin, right? Then I'm gonna brush that melted butter all over there, kind of leaving like half an inch away from the perimeter, because I feel like when you do that, it's easier to roll it and like butter is just not oozing out everywhere and it's kind of, harder to roll it and stuff so yeah just brushing that on there all right so now we have the star of the show or cinnamon sugar i have a mixture of cinnamon and brown sugar brown sugar yeah 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 mm, yeah mm, mm. anyways guys as i said i would list the ingredients in the description bar so make sure y'all check that out so yeah just sprinkling the brown sugar all over the surface of our dough and then we're going to take some more butter some more melted butter and pour it all over the surface of our dough brush it nicely and combine everything together and then we're going to make our roll right so start from one end and i'm just going to be rolling and taking my hands and kind of folding it under while I'm rolling. So you lift up the dough and you roll and you kind of fold under. If you guys could see what I'm doing. I hope I'm explaining this right. You lift it up and you fold and you roll at the same time. You see? Right. just like so and then we're gonna cut our cylinder up now i probably could have gotten 10 but yeah i didn't measure it and i didn't cut all the pieces equally but you could get 10 rolls if you do cut it equally but it's cool you know it's fine um you're actually gonna cut it up into um horizontal pieces like so and then we're going to add it to our pan or baking pan, which I have lined with some parchment paper. You don't have to line it with parchment paper, but uh, I just felt like doing that. So, yeah, I'm going to add the rolls to there. 
you guys if there is anything you want to see me make please don't hesitate to let me know in the comments below talk to me you know let's have a conversation below tell me if there's anything you would like me to make and i'll i'll hook you up right so you're gonna put it in there and then we're gonna cover it with some saran wrap and we're going to let it rise for about an hour so you cover it and let it rise for about an hour and then we're going to remove the wrap and then we're going to let it bake right see how it risen nicely mm -hmm. so now we're going to bake it at 350 for about 30 to 35 minutes monitoring it making sure it doesn't get too brown at the top i find that my oven has been playing me these days child but yeah while that's baking we're gonna go ahead and make our cream cheese glaze for our cinnamon buns because you have to have cream cheese glaze with cinnamon rolls like come on right And then I'm going to add some vanilla that's going to bump up that flavor a notch. Make it nice and yummy. Now our cinnamon rolls are done and then we're going to pour that amazing cream cheese glaze on top of there. You guys, if you ever had cinnamon cinnamon rolls, this recipe comes pretty close to it now or pretty much almost the same if I must say so myself. I used to always get cinnamon uh, cinnamon rolls at the mall but you know right now malls are closed due to the coronavirus so hey, I can't get them but I came up with this recipe and I was like, girl you did that you did that now i know you guys could see how soft this is just look at this just look at how soft and pillowy this is you guys you are gonna thank me for this okay mm. you guys you know what i'm about to say thank y'all so much for watching and I'll see you beautiful people in my next video. Later.